I will recite the poem A Photograph by Shirley Tools. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet some 20 30 years later she'd laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she'd say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both ride with the labored ease of loss now she's been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of the circumstance there is nothing to say at all it's silence silences A photograph by Shirley Toulson is a beautiful poem. It is a poem which revolves around our own life. It is a poem which expresses our movement down the path and our old memories. In this particular poem, a photograph, Shirley Toulson Fondly remembers her mother, and this particular poem is a tribute to her mother. It describes the three stages in the passage of time. This photograph was taken when the poet's mother was very young, somewhere around twelve years old, and she was standing with her two cousins. Thus this poem is a movement in the life of a mother from a young girl to the nostalgic memories she has preferably 20 30 years later when she fondly remembers her good old memories and in the third stage on seeing this photograph Shirley Tools in the poetess remembers her dead mother and has nostalgic feelings about her this poem in particular describes three stages in the passage of time in the first stage the photograph shows the poet's mother standing at the beach enjoying her holiday with her two girl cousins The age which is mentioned here is that she could have been around 12 years at that time. Slowly as the poem moves, we see in the second stage which is preferably 20 30 years later, the mother herself reminisces her old memories and the dresses they had worn and the fun and the frolic they had. at the beach holiday and in the final stanzas it is a third stage where the poet remembers her dead mother with a heavy heart definitely it's a befitting tribute by the poetess to her mother through this beautiful poem a photograph by shirley toulson now students of the adhyan academy just follow the stanza by stanza understanding of the poem in the first stanza it is an old photograph of the poet's mother and it is pasted on cardboard and through this photograph the poet reminisces her mother reminds her mother remains her mother remains in her memory 
This is a befitting description of a mother's enjoyable childhood. She is standing there in the shallow water, bare feet near the beach, holding her two cousins who were younger to her. She is 12 years old and it shows that the photograph is very very old but the poet has kept it as a memory as a remembrance of the sweet memories of a mother's childhood now we will move to stanza 2 in stanza 2 it is showing that it's the real depiction the three of them the mother and the two cousins are standing still and getting themselves photographed or clicked by the uncle at the sea beach as we all know that the weather at the sea beach is very windy and hence the hair is flying over their smiling faces from the photograph we can judge that the mother and the two cousins were having a very good time because the expression on the faces of the poet's mother and her cousins is that of happiness and enjoyment though the photograph was taken a very very long time ago but still the mother looks very pretty the poet further moves on to say that everything is transient in some anybody's life though her mother has grown up and now she is dead and the poet is reviving her memories but still human life is very short lived human life is transient it moves from birth to death but mother nature is eternal it stays there the three persons clicked in the photograph preferably might have died but her mother nature is still there as it is the sea is still there as it is and thus is explains that how short human life is when we move to the third para then we see that there is nostalgic remembering of the happy memories of the mother's past it is preferably 20 30 years later and whenever the mother looks at the photograph then she is very rem- very much remembering the dresses worn by the cousins dolly betty and herself in fact those sea holiday was very very long time back and she herself has gone from this earth now but the poet says that whenever her mother saw the photograph she fondly remembered her childhood she fondly remembered the sea holiday and there was always a sense of loss that her beautiful childhood her beautiful past would never come back to her though the words labor and ease are opposite to each other the mother is gone but still the photograph is there with the poet and whenever the poet sees the photograph she is consumed with grief and she does not have words to describe her pain her grief her loss and she is self obsessed and absorbed in the memories of her dead mother Whenever she sees the photograph the painful silence which descends on the situation leaves the poet speechless The poet is in pain is in grief but she does not have words to express it through her words or expressions and she knows that the silence caused by death has made the atmosphere gloomy and no one can utter any words to express that gloominess it's silence silences it is silence which is being silenced by silences what a beautiful depiction of this poem
In this poem, we see that the poetic devices used are allusion. An allusion is a reference or an incidental mention of something, either directly or by implications. In this poem, the poet has used cardboard, and this cardboard actually refers to the photograph. Thus, there is a poetic mention of allusion. There is alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the initial letter, generally a consonant, of several words marking the stressed syllable in a line of poem. In this poem, we see that alliteration has been used, stood still to smile, terribly transient, silence silences. Another poetic device used in the poem is transferred epithet. A transferred epithet is a description which refers to a character or an event, but it is used to describe a different character or an event or a situation. Transient feet is a befitting example of a transferred epithet in the poem. Though, in reality, transient feet refers to human feet. But in this poem, it is used to describe the lack of permanence of human life, the lack of eternity of human life. That human life is short-lived. It is bound to die. We also have used oxymoron in this poem. It is another literary device which the poet has used. An oxymoron is when two opposite ideas are joined to create an effect. Like labored ease. Labored means hard work. Ease means easily. Labor generally we use when we are getting something out of great difficulty and ease means when we are in a comfortable position. Though both the words have opposite meanings, but here they are clubbed together. And then we have finally the personification. Silence, silences. Situation has been given the human quality of silence. Means silence is silencing the silence. So thus, the word silence silences has been personified or given a human figure to it. The children of the Adhyan Academy, have you understood the poem? Have you uh, read the poem and recited it? And then go on stanza by stanza explanation of the poem and the poetic devices used in the poem. Thank you.